John Richard Whiteley, OBE, DL was an English broadcaster and journalist, best known for his 23 years as host of the game show Countdown. Countdown was the launch program for Channel 4 at 4.45 p.m. on November 2, 1982, and Whiteley was the first person to be seen on the channel. Despite his intelligence, Whiteley enjoyed projecting the image of an absent-minded eccentric. His trademarks were his jolly, avuncular manner, his fondness for excruciatingly bad puns, and his bold, sometimes garish wardrobe. Thanks to over 20 years' worth of nightly installments of Countdown as well as his work on the Yorkshire magazine program Calendar and various other television projects, at the time of his death Whiteley was believed to have clocked more hours on British television screen Seguro, and more than 10,000 appear on Caesar Euro than anyone else alive, apart from Carol Hersey, the young girl who appeared on the BBC's iconic test card F. Early life, Whiteley was born in Bradford, West Riding of Yorkshire, and spent his childhood in Barlden. His family owned a long established textile mill, Thomas Whiteley and Company of Ecclesial, which went out of business in the 1960s. At 13, he won a scholarship to Giggleswick School, Yorkshire, where his English teacher was Russell Harty. He later became a governor of the school. Leaving school with seven O levels and three A levels, from 1962 he read English at Christ's College. Cambridge, graduating with a third-class degree. In 2001, Whiteley stood as rector for Dundee University. Career equals Early career equals, on leaving Cambridge in July 1965, Whiteley served three years as a trainee at ITN but left to join the newly created Yorkshire Television in July 1968. Whiteley was notoriously bitten by a ferret on an edition of Calendar in 1977. The animal remained clamped to his finger for half a minute before its indifferent owner, Brian Plummer, finally prized it free. The clip is often repeated on programs showing television outtakes. In an example of his famous self-deprecating humor, Whiteley once joked that when he died, the headlines would read, Ferret Man Dies, which was the headline of the Yorkshire Regional Newspaper when he did die, in his honor. He said, it's made a lot of people laugh and it's been shown all over the world. It's 30 odd years since it happened and I think I've been a great PR man for the ferret industry. Ferrets have a lot to be grateful for, to me, you see they've become acceptable because one of them bit me. Equals countdown equals. In 1982, Yorkshire Television began to produce Countdown, copying a French quiz show format, Des Chiffres et Des Lettres. Whiteley was chosen as host and continued with the show when Sir Jeremy Isaacs brought it to Channel 4 as the first program broadcast by the new station. After a successful first broadcast, with an audience of over 3.5 million viewers, the program lost 3 million viewers for its second show. However, it gradually rebuilt its audience over the following weeks, and it was as the host of Countdown that Whiteley became known to a wider audience in the United Kingdom outside the Yorkshire region. He was nicknamed twice nightly Whiteley, in reference to the time when he would present the calendar news program and countdown in the same evening, from 1982 to 1995. As the presenter of Countdown, Whiteley developed a reputation for wearing garish suits and ties, and it was common for Carol Vorderman to comment on this. Whiteley also told many anecdotes and puns, which were often met by groans from other presenters and members of the audience. He was granted the honorary title of Mayor of Wetwang in 1998, and was known for his amusement at the village's name. The Mayor of Wetwang joke reached its head in 2000 when a contestant, Les Noble, was the brother-in-law of the Mayor of Sunderland, on which Whiteley commented, I know how it feels. Countdown was not intended to be a long-lasting format, but it quickly became a durable program for Channel 4. At the time of Whiteley's death, it still regularly attracted up to 4 million viewers. The Queen and the Queen Mother are both said to have been fans. For Derman has written of her close friendship with Whiteley the special friendship I shared with Richard was to become one of the most enduring relationships of my life and one that has probably provided me with more fun than any other. Whiteley had a cameo appearance role as himself, presenting Countdown, in the film about a boy. From series 54, Broadcast in 2006, the series champion has received the Richard Whiteley Memorial Trophy.
Whiteley's presentation of Countdown was mentioned in the Father Ted episode Old Grey Whistle Theft, when Father Dougal Maguire plays Countdown in his sleep, and Father Ted Crilly mentions to Dougal I am not Richard Whiteley, when he gets up and goes outside for a cigarette break. Equals other work equals, Whiteley also had his own chat show on BBC One. This was a chat show with a twist a euro before he could interview his guests, he had to guess who they were. He was the subject of This Is Your Life in March 1997 when he was surprised by Michael Aspel on the set of the ITV soap opera, Emmerdale. On June 15, 2003, Whiteley appeared on the BBC show, Top Gear and set the slowest time in the star in a reasonably priced car segment with his time of 2.06. To give a measure of how slow this was, Billy Baxter, who is blind, has beaten him with a time of 2.02. Illness and Death in May 2005, Whiteley was taken into hospital with pneumonia. He made a slow recovery from the illness, but doctors discovered problems with his heart and carried out an emergency operation for endocarditis on June 24. This operation was not successful, and two days later on June 26, Whiteley died at Leeds General Infirmary. He had suffered from asthma since he was very young, and was a diabetic. The edition of Countdown due to be broadcast on June 27 was postponed as a mark of respect. Carol Vodaman gave an emotional tribute to him on June 28 when Countdown returned the following day. A number of shows had already been recorded when he went into hospital and his final show was broadcast on July 1, 2005 which was the grand final of the 53rd series. Two standalone episodes featuring former contestants and recorded in 2003 to be broadcast whenever Channel 4's cricket coverage finishes early, also remained in the vaults to be screened at a later date. As Channel 4 no longer covers cricket they may remain in the archives indefinitely, however one game's details has been leaked onto the internet. Memorials equals Memorial service equals, on November 10, 2005, five months after his death. Thousands of friends and admirers gathered at York Minster for a memorial service to celebrate Whiteley's life. Guests included Voldemort, who paid tribute to him, saying, If he were here he would have welcomed you one by one, greeting every one of you by the hand and would have wanted a photograph taken. He was described by Countdown regular Gils Brandreth as a love god. But he was the most innocent love god you could imagine. He was like a ray of sunshine and like sunshine we all warm to him. Equals Richard Whiteley Memorial Bursary equals, in 2007 Channel 4 announced its creation of the Richard Whiteley Memorial Bursary, a nine-month work experience placement at Yorkshire Television, working with True North Productions. Equals Vision Aid Overseas equals, three pairs of Whiteley's spectacles were donated by Catherine Apanowicz, his longtime partner, to optical charity Vision Aid Overseas. Sent with a team of optical professionals to Ethiopia, the VAO team found three Ethiopians whose eyes fitted Whiteley's prescription. The BBC followed this story on their Inside Out program which was broadcast on September 19, 2007. Equals Giggle Swig School equals, in 2008, three years after Whiteley's death, Giggle Swig School announced its plans to raise a £1.3 million to build a theatre in his honour. The 288-seat theatre has been built at the school where Whiteley was a pupil and governor, and provides a resource for the whole local community. Work on the second phase of the theatre was completed in autumn 2010. The theatre now hosts a range of public performances. Honours and private life, Whiteley became a deputy lieutenant of West Yorkshire in 2003, and was appointed OBE in the June 2004 Queen's Birthday Honours list for services to broadcasting. Whiteley had a son, James, born in 1987 from a relationship with fashion journalist and television presenter Leslie Ebbets. Bibliography equals Books by Richard Whiteley equals Letters Play A Treasury of Words and Wordplay London, Robson ISBN 0-86051-992-9, Whiteley, Richard Hymoff. The Memoirs of a TV Matinee Idol London Orion Books ISBN 0-7528-4345-1 Equals Biographies Equals, Apanowicz, Catherine Richard by Catherine London, 
Virgin Books ISBN 1-85227-375-5. TV Appearances, Calendar, Countdown, Hallelujah. The Richard Whiteley Show, Richard Whiteley Unbriefed, Holiday, You Call the Shots, The Big Breakfast, Top Gear, Footage of Whiteley Appears in Pride, Where He Reports on the End of the Miners' Strike. References Obituaries, Obituary, Richard Whiteley, Richard Whiteley, I Bet They'll Report Ferret Man Dies, Richard Whiteley, Richard Whiteley, Richard Whiteley, Thousands Say Farewell to Our Richard. External Links the Richard Whiteley Theatre at Giggleswick School, Richard Whiteley at the Internet Movie Database, Vision Aid Overseas, Gam Shows, Richard Whiteley, Farewell to a Jolly Good Egg, Richard Whiteley on CultIdols.com, TV Cream's Tribute to Richard Whiteley, Clip of the Ferret Biting Richard Whiteley on YouTube, Richard Whiteley's appearance on This Is Your Life.